For all you wild tuna fish that clicked on this video, we need to get something straight before we move on. If you have a YouTube channel, you might have experienced this. I know a lot of other creators have, but particularly in my situation, if you look back to all the videos I create, whether it's sketch comedy or rants, you would realize that I just do whatever the fuck I want. I say whatever I want, I get a lot of rant topic requests, and I make these videos. My channel was not political at all, even though I dabbled into some trending topics here and there, but it was not at all a political channel. All of a sudden, my videos start violating YouTube's terms, their hate speech, their child protection laws, whatever they want to call it. This video gets removed. This one's got a strike. Now I got three on my channel. Then I get canceled. One of the very first channels to be demonetized, suppressed for actually a while, up until I was fully dropped from my network and demonetized and essentially canceled as we know it today. But this happened to me back in the day. Now the funny part is, I bet a lot of people now, if they look at my channel, they're most likely gonna label me far right, neo-Nazi Republican. When of course, I'm not political at all. But Rob, are you, are you sure you're not a Democrat or a Republican? Because one time you said uh, something that hurt my feelings and now I'll tell you exactly where I am. You see the scale right here? I'll make it easy for everybody. Here's exactly where I am. Yup, I'm right there. Which if you don't know stands for I don't give a fuck. That's how I've always been. If there's a trending topic, right, and it trends towards, I don't know, something that happened with Republicans, I'm gonna call them out, I'm gonna say it's stupid, and everything else I want. If the same thing happens on the Democrat side, I'm gonna call out their bullshit as well. Because I don't give a shit. And I think a lot of people should be this way. I don't see too many centrists, even though I don't like putting a label on people. So if you ever think you're gonna get me on a specific video topic moving forward, you're very wrong. Although, if I get something wrong, I'll tell you it's wrong. You see it on both sides of the political spectrum where people get so deep into their own filth, they're just swimming in shit. Republicans do this, which I'll make rant videos about as well, including some Republican channels that are awful, terrible. Liberals, of course, do this. The only gripe I have particularly with a lot of this woke ideology is, my fans included, loved humor, loved just regular content, and now it's become so sensitive that they've canceled me, censored me, all that jazz. And you know what's actually sad? YouTube has gone so soft that for some reason, the video I made where I just talked about how our generation sucks was apparently so hateful it was a strike on my account. With that being said, you'll see on my X account, now that it literally pays more revenue than YouTube, and YouTube completely killed and suppressed my videos anyways, I'm gonna be uploading new videos on there as well, as well as re-uploading some of my other funny content and clips and shorts and things like that. You'll see on there too. You can follow me on there. Now I wanna talk about the bias because I think a lot of people don't understand how deep they are in their own mindset where their thought process and their perception is completely skewed based on sometimes years of built up emotion towards particular subjects or people. We're gonna create an imaginary person. This person's name is Jerry. Jerry is a sweetheart. He's a war veteran. He recently lost his wife to cancer. Jerry has four dogs in his apartment, works a night shift at a steel factory. You know, he, he's just super kind, always donates any extra money he gets to children's hospitals. The neighbors love Jerry. Jerry volunteers at the homeless shelter. Everybody who knows Jerry talks about how giving he is, just how warm-hearted and kind this man is. Now that we know about Jerry, let's read this news headline that says, a man named Jerry at a Baskin Robbins ice cream shop refused to pay 50 cents extra for his whipped cream on his banana split. Now, I don't know what most of us are thinking, right? Like, oh, I don't know, I, I wonder why or, you know, what happened. It, it's not much of a huge reaction probably to this headline, you know? And this is the only headline you read, right? So maybe it was he got whipped cream on his banana split and paid for his banana split and then didn't know it cost 50 cents extra. He didn't have any change in his pocket after the cashier charged him and took his money. Maybe Jerry offered to go back to his home and get 50 cents to pay the cashier person. All we know is that apparently he didn't pay 50 cents for extra topping on his banana split ice cream. Now Ray saw that and let's say Jerry's a piece of shit. Jerry was actually in and out of jail 20 times in his life. Jerry has 
gotten away with raping a 13 year old girl. All his neighbors say he's a complete scumbag. His drug use is out of control. Jerry's also an alcoholic. He was actually involved in a DUI crash that killed a family of four. And after crawling out of his car, laughing at the police when they arrived into the scene, the next day when Jerry woke up, he posted on social media, I don't give a fuck. Now read the same headline that says, Jerry, a customer at Baskin Robbins ice cream, refused to pay 50 cents for his whipped cream topping. Now, everybody's like, oh, oh, well, of course, that fucking piece of shit. That guy probably spat on the cashier worker too. I'm surprised he didn't steal all the ice cream there. That low life scumbag. I'm talking about this example because we're gonna call out a lot of this. Because on one hand, you know the nice Jerry and your emotions and your feelings are good and you read the same headline versus you know the shitty version of Jerry and then you read the same and your reaction is completely different. That headline could be misleading too. You don't exactly know what happened. Maybe he didn't have the money. Maybe there was miscommunication with the cashier, but that bias comes from that emotional state that you're already almost influenced to have a specific type of reaction. News media is very good at doing this. They'll emotionally build you up on certain topics for weeks, months, and years. So then when, even if the truth of something is revealed. You refuse to believe that because you already invested yourself emotionally into this so much that you cannot give it up, which is how you see a lot of people refusing facts. I think everybody should look at every situation neutrally. If you're the type of person who's gonna struggle with this or you know can't take a step back and see something neutrally for what it is, things aren't gonna go well for you anyway. But on this channel, we don't give a shit. If there's any topics you guys want discussed, if there's any questions you guys have, write it in the comments below. I love going based off of what you guys think, and I'll see you on my next video.